Hey everyone, today's topic, stop feeling sorry for yourself when things don't work out with a bad person. I've witnessed this time and time again in my life where people end up in a relationship with someone who is a bad person. I don't just mean like a bad partner for them because that happens quite often. I mean literally a bad person, like someone you should not be in a relationship with because they are not a good human being. Like I've seen this happen more times than I care to admit and I've often seen the way their partners who are usually good people react to that relationship no longer working that many people if they get broken up with by that bad person they feel like devastated they want to wallow in their misery and then feel sad for quite some time and i understand why that happens like i understand the psychology behind it but it still kind of boggles my mind that there are that many people out there who don't have any form of self-love because Self-love is a solution to this. That's what makes it so you aren't going to stay with bad people. Because if someone's verbally and physically abusive towards you, that's not someone you want to be with. Like, at all. I don't care how much you like them. I don't care how attractive they are. That's not someone you should be with. I wouldn't even spend time with these people for even one night stands. If I sniffed out someone and they seemed a bit, you know, crazy or just like a straight up bad person, I wouldn't even want to do that with him because I'd understand even that's risky with someone like that. So it's just, it's unfortunate how this happens so often. And then people feel really bad over the relationship not working out when really, objectively, they should be celebrating. It's a good thing. You don't want someone like that to stay with you. And quite often, those bad people will be the ones to initiate the breakup because usually if they manage to rope in a good person into a relationship with them, they're usually using some sort of manipulative tactics and other crap like that. So yeah, they're often the ones who initiate ending things and that's why the good person will then be so hurt over it. But if this has ever happened to you, I just wanna say, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Like seriously, that person did you a favor. That is not someone you wanna be with. Like, if someone cheated on you, if someone was verbally abusive towards you, if someone, God forbid, was physically abusive towards you and they end up leaving you, hold the door open for them and then completely slam it after they've left. Like, kick them out while you're at it. Do not keep someone like that in your life and do not give in to those feelings that tell you that you're not good enough because they left you or other crap like that. No, no, no. Celebrate. It's a good thing that they left you. They freed you. They freed you from their prison. Ah, it just, it really gets me. I, I truly wish there was a way to teach everyone self-love. I mean, there is education. If the education system actually taught people these things like mental health and mindset and self-love and so on, people would end up a lot better. And you'd have way fewer people falling victim to these toxic relationships with really bad people but unfortunately schools don't teach that right so very few people are raised knowing these concepts because very few parents even know of them so if the parents don't know about these concepts they can't possibly instill them in their children so you just get all these repeating cycles of suffering because yeah nobody learns to love themselves and treat themselves well and to not tolerate absolutely horrible partners and to not even have friends or anyone in their life like that so yeah, it's unfortunate, but I just wanted to make this video to affirm for you. If you have had a relationship like that in the past, please never feel sorry for yourself that they left you. Ever. Like, just don't. If you have a thought like that, tell that thought it's wrong. Be like, no, I'm glad it didn't work out with that person because they freaking sucked. I'm not going to feel sorry for myself over that. Are you kidding me? If anything, yeah, they freed me. So there you go, guys. Just never buy into those thoughts because... Why the hell should you feel sorry for yourself for that? Like, come on, really? Now you've got the opportunity to meet someone way better. Someone who will actually be a good match for you. So, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video because it just hit me literally while I was walking to the gym yesterday. I had that thought of like, you know, there are people out there probably hurting from like getting broken up with by an absolutely horrible partner and they're feeling sorry for themselves. And that's BS. They shouldn't be feeling sorry for themselves. Like, it's a good thing. So I was like, I need to make a video on that. So here you go. It's a pretty spontaneous one. But I truly hope you enjoyed it. And if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.